In today's video, we are talking about how many people fit in a spaceship. Do you know how many people can fit on a spaceship? And will SpaceX play an important role in this? Make sure to watch the entire video for Elon Musk's solution to a major problem in transporting humans into space. The occupation begins. A spacecraft is a vehicle or machine designed to fly in outer space. A type of artificial satellite, spacecraft are used for a variety of purposes, including communications, Earth observation, meteorology, navigation, space colonization, planetary exploration, and transportation of humans and cargo. All spacecraft, except single stage to orbit vehicles, cannot get into space on their own and require a launch vehicle, carrier rocket. On a suborbital spaceflight, a space vehicle enters space and then returns to the surface without having gained sufficient energy or velocity to make a full Earth orbit. For orbital space flights, spacecraft enter closed orbits around the Earth or around other celestial bodies. Spacecraft used for human spaceflight carry people on board as crew or passengers from start or on orbit space stations only, whereas those used for robotic space missions operate either autonomously or telerobotically. Robotic spacecraft used to support scientific research are space probes. Robotic spacecraft that remain in orbit around a planetary body are artificial satellites. To date, only a handful of interstellar probes, such as Pioneer 10 and 11, Voyager 1 and 2, and New Horizons are on trajectories that leave the solar system. Orbital spacecraft may be recoverable or not. Most are not. Recoverable spacecraft may be subdivided by a method of re-entry to Earth into non-wing space capsules and wing spaceplanes. Recoverable spacecraft may be reusable, can be launched again or several times, like the SpaceX Dragon and the Space Shuttle orbiters, or expendable, like the Soyuz. In recent years, more space agencies are tending towards reusable spacecraft. Humanity has achieved spaceflight, but only a few nations have the technology for orbital launches – Russia, RSA, or Roscosmos, the United States, NASA, the member states of the European Space Agency, ESA, Japan, JAXA, China, CNSA, India, ISRO, Taiwan National Chungshan Institute of Science and Technology, Taiwan National Space Organization, NSPO, Israel, ISA, Aaron, ISA, and North Korea, NADA. In addition, several private companies have developed or are developing the technology for orbital launches independently from government agencies. The most prominent examples of such companies are SpaceX and Blue Origin. SpaceX Starship Starship is a fully reusable, super-heavy lift launch vehicle under development by SpaceX, an American aerospace company. With more than twice the thrust of the Saturn B, it is designed to be the most powerful launch vehicle ever built and the first with total reusability. The Starship launch vehicle is made up of the Super Heavy first stage booster and the Starship second stage. The second stage functions as a self-contained spacecraft for carrying crew or cargo once in orbit. Both stages are powered by Raptor engines that burn liquid oxygen and liquid methane propellants in a highly efficient full-flow stage combustion power cycle. Both rocket stages are designed to be reused by landing vertically at the launch pad or at a separate platform. In its fully reusable configuration, Starship has a payload capacity of 100 t, 220,000 pounds, to low Earth orbit and is designed to be flown multiple times to spread out the cost of the spacecraft. The spacecraft can be refueled in orbit before traveling to destinations that require more change in velocity, delta budget, such as the Moon and Mars. Proposed applications for Starship include regular crewed and cargo launches, building the Starlink Internet Constellation, and performing suborbital point-to-point -point flights on Earth. Plans to create a heavy-lift launch vehicle at SpaceX date back to 2005. The methane oxygen engines were in development by 2012, and the plan was announced publicly for the first time in 2016. The development program for Starship 
since 2019 follows an iterative and incremental approach involving frequent prototype construction, testing, and refinement, including low and high altitude flight tests. As of December 2022, no date for the planned first orbital flight test has been announced yet. How many people fit on a spaceship? Modern spacecraft transport more people than in the early days. The first American spacecraft, the Mercury capsule, only held one person. You can fit three people in a Soyuz spacecraft, the ones we use today to reach the International Space Station ISS. The ISS is built for six people to live on at any time. The space shuttle could hold up to eight people. SpaceX making a bigger one. Starship and Super Heavy are the biggest, most important pieces of Elon Musk's grand plan for SpaceX, his private spaceflight company. SpaceX's short-term aims are to supply cargo and astronauts for the International Space Station, provide transportation and seats for private customers, like Axiom Space or billionaire Jared Isaacman's Inspiration4, and fly Starlink satellites and payloads for other customers aboard its Falcon 9 or Falcon Heavy rockets. But the revenues flowing in from these projects are raising funds from us to larger goal of moving deep into space. Musk has repeatedly stressed that he founded SpaceX back in 2002 primarily to help humanity colonize Mars. It's vital that we become a multi-planet species, the billionaire entrepreneur has said, citing both a much reduced probability of extinction and the thrill that meaningful space exploration will deliver to billions of people around the world. Critics say we should instead be focusing on climate change and other issues on Earth. SpaceX is now actively trying to turn this sci-fi dream into reality. The company is developing a 100-passenger spaceship called Starship and a giant rocket known as Super Heavy, which together constitutes the transportation system that Musk thinks will bring Mars settlement within reach at long last. This is the fastest path to a self-sustaining city on Mars opens a new tab. Musk said in September 2019, during a webcast update, about the Starship Super Heavy architecture. While the spaceship has yet to achieve orbit, it has already attracted lucrative contracts from Isaacman's Polaris program, Japanese venture Dear Moon to fly eight artists and a billionaire around the moon, seats for billionaire Dennis Tito and wife Akiko on another moon mission, and at least two landing missions for NASA's Artemis moon program. Starship has flown half a dozen times in hops, or high-altitude flights, while a small test system called Starhopper to examine the Starship concept achieved two brief, untethered test flights at Boca Chica before being retired in late August 2019. Starship's next major milestone is a flight in Earth orbit, but SpaceX is awaiting approval on its plan to manage environmental concerns at Starbase, the facility in South Texas where Starship is launched. The Federal Aviation Administration FAA, has been reviewing public feedback, speaking with other government agencies, and then assessing SpaceX's progress on 75 action items of a programmatic environmental assessment. All told, SpaceX has not made any flights of Starship since May 2021, although it does do engine firings frequently on Starship and Super Heavy at Starbase. Musk's first version of Starship was an eye-catching 165-foot-tall 50 meters Starship prototype called the Make one It was supposed to be used for a test flight, but exploded during pressure testing in November 2019. Version Make 2 was worked on but never completed, while Make 3 was renamed to SN1 in December 2019. SpaceX then did a series of ambitious ground tests to assess how much punishment its versions could stand up to which, in part, led to a series of Starship versions blowing up during testing. Seta-1 was destroyed during pressurization tests in February 2020. Version s 2 has been tested and decommissioned, still intact, although both SN3 and SN4 were destroyed in other tests in April and May 2020, respectively. As for flying people, presumably the first to fly on Starship, would be the astronauts for NASA's Artemis 3 mission, which the agency aims to launch for a touchdown on the moon in 2025. SpaceX received a sole source contract for the Artemis human landing system in April 2021, but following protests and a lawsuit from other contenders, all of which were overturned, the US Senate directed NASA to find a second company. 
A second vendor will likely be chosen in 2023. Other flights using Starship with Isaacman, Tito, and Dearmoon do not have firm dates at this time. There's a fair amount of work to do in the interim, of course. For example, there's the issue of keeping Starship's passengers happy and healthy during their flights to the Moon, Mars, and beyond. We know little about Starship's life support system, but Musk said during the September 2019 update that he envisions a regenerative system, which recycles water vapor and carbon dioxide, processing this latter gas to provide oxygen, and he doesn't think implementing this tech will be all that difficult. I don't think it's actually super hard to do that, he said. Relative to the spacecraft itself, the life support system is pretty straightforward. Musk is famous for his aspirational timelines, so the above target dates are far from set in stone and will depend upon regulation, testing, and other matters. Testing big spacecraft takes time and patience, but revenues are flowing in now for future flights, which indicates at least some community confidence in Starship flying people in the mid-2020s or early 2030s. If you love similar content like this, take a look at my other videos. And if you like it, please smash the like button. If you have further questions, feel free to comment down below. See you in the next video.